Hello. Hello, you. Welcome to... It's Sunday. It's... It is Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon. The yeah. hours skipped forward, didn't it? Yeah, so technically it's the morning, and uh, I'm claiming that as a win. Well, it's not technically in the morning, it's technically in the afternoon. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm. Uh, we've got two clocks in this house, one in the bathroom. That's been changed, that's gone forward. And Ian's internal clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that doesn't change till about August. Uh, the bathroom one, I think a few years ago, we just left it, and then six months later it was fine, so you just had to accommodate yeah. it. That was just laziness there, right? <laughs> yeah, turning the knob one hour, hour. forward or backwards. <laughs> um, too, too much effort. And the one on the oven, I've not done that yet. I should do that today as well. Yeah, because the oven one does throw me out, actually. So that washing machine in the background, doing its business going to business uh today it's green finger sunday oh yeah we're doing some panting today aren't we? we got to do the venus fly traps it's chilly in here <laughs> plant the venus fly traps we've got some spider plant babies we need to plant and the mother-in-law's tongue plant i need to chop up are you really doing that yeah it's doing so well this plant and we're about to mess with it no no I, i've read i've read i've read how to do it it's too it's pot bound so it needs to be done um we so are you sometimes <laughs> don't split you in off it's egg bound it's not oh, pot okay. bound uh today we've got a sausage sandwich for breakfast lunch talking about being egg bound <laughs> but sausage bound well, like it, something it, else it I'll looks show up. it looks <laughs> it bloody won't that's the problem <laughs> it's a sorry looking sandwich look Ooh, it's just like one round with two sausages in it's not gonna make an M- mns advert that ain't <laughs> Yeah, well, until m starts buying our food for us, it ain't going to happen. Graham Norton on uh, Virgin Radio this morning was trying to vlog some <laughs> Waitrose oh, we, Sponsored food. by Waitrose. It was, <laughs> it, was, it, was awful. it was a competition to give away Sunday lunch. It was like a meat raffle. It was so awkward. Anyway, so we'd, but, you know. But he's amazing and we love his show. Richmond meat-free sausages. Best sausages in the world. <laughs> <laughs> David's meat-free sausage. Best. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going there. So this is two rounds of bread. That's 180. 84 calories and two sausages that's 113 are you doing the maths so it's just under 300 calories for this it's got a bit of spread in it so that will take it over 300 plus some ketchup so i don't think that's bad for a sausage sandwich mm-hmm. so we're gonna have this and we're then just, we're gonna we're green f- a chill day aren't we sorry no, i didn't gr- to interrupt you twice <laughs> <laughs> well we're gonna have this and we're gonna do green fingering yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> didn't think that one through. We right. can do a bit of panty, but we're having a very chilled day, and um, it's a short week as well. Next, are week. you, David? I mean, I've got well, things you, to do. You were lay under a blanket about ten minutes ago. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got a photo of that. Yeah, <laughs> might be in. It might, the photo might appear now. Depending, <laughs> on I've, I've not seen it. If, if Ian deletes it, or not. I got up. I had a little lie down on the sofa to listen to the radio, and this is what I look like. Anyway, sausage time. <laughs> How is your sausage? Sandwich. It was really nice, actually. Those Richmond meat-free sausages really are, I think, my favourite non-meat sausages. They're very good. They're like old-school sausages. Yeah, they well. taste like a proper sausage. And the texture, yeah, nice, really nice. We've been listening to a bit of Elaine Page. Yes, Elaine Page in a whistly teeth on Sunday. She's been playing a bit of Disney and... We just had Matilda, Matilda song. Yes, naughty. So that was nice. And we've been swaying. We had, we did. Um, <laughs> a little bit swaying. <laughs> we're li- currently in the jungle. Look. So we are repotting. I've got our roots on me. Wally needs a new haircut. It's going to go in there. This bad boy that we bought at the end of the first lockdown and we repotted. Got a bit big again. So he is going in there. Mm-hmm. And then one of the spider plant babies will be going in there. And we've got a couple of mother-in-law tongues plants which are quite pot bound so they need a bit of splitting up don't they they do and i read how do you repot mother-in-law tongue plants and there's four options you can cut a a leaf off stick it straight in dirt cut a leaf off put it into water watch it grow you can just cut them into different sections or you can pull them apart so yeah what are you going for ripping them up (laughs) yeah i think i'm going to rip them up i'm not going to do the leaf cutting thing because I don't want to cutting, I just want to thin them out because they're pot bound. And then we've got Venus fly traps to do as well, which are somewhere on this table. You're my Venus, you're my fire, my desire. I thought you'd come with something else then. <laughs> That's not the word. I think that was all the words for the song, but I don't think they're in the right order. <laughs> I mean, barely were the right words for the song. How rude. Right, how are we going to do this? Just cut open that bag of dirt that we're a bit worried it's got mice in. Because <laughs> it's been on the balcony for a while. No sign of any uh, intrusion. But, yeah, a little bit worried. Let's just go for it. Let's get messy. It's nice and moist at the top, quite dry at the bottom. I was expecting to see lots of... Um... Yeah, I thought it would be a bit more root-bound, but... 
Still quite new. Right, that's going in. Mother-in-law's tongue update. A little bit of Latin for you. Mother-in-law's tongue to you and I. Definitely a little bit root bound. I'm gonna use a bread knife. Smells like coconut. Oh, a little bit, yeah. Or, you know, the stalk of a broccoli. I appreciate it doesn't smell like coconut. It smells like broccoli. Probably shouldn't have used the knife because I think I've done damage, but it's okay. It needed thinning. I'm going to go back to using my hands. Little update. It's a bit of a wet patch. I'm quite excited <laughs> doing it. It's a bit sodden. It's Alan Titchmarsh. Shithead. <laughs> Where he is in all his glory. Alan Titchhead and Monty Dong. And Monty Dong. Ding Dong. It's like you're a pro. Need to tap that. <laughs> well, you know, don't film down there. I need to go out and tap that on a, so it levels off the dirt. You're going to do it on balcony? Yeah, I'm not going to do it in here. I've given Wally some uh, new hair. There he is, looking very handsome. Look at this. This is so good. You're a bit messy, aren't you? What? You're playing it mud? <laughs> mood, mood, mood. <laughs> it's like Dolly at Glastonbury. <laughs> I am playing in the mud. It's dirtier than I thought it was going to be, just because it was so dry and compacted. Look at those. They're looking great, though. Um, I've got the other one to do. He's going to get some more plants, pots off the balcony. It's a bit like a safari. Well, there we go. Oh, look, you can see us again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Loving that. Oh, it's like it's going to take off. Still got to do the other big one, so I need to go in the balcony and see if there's any more pots, because I've only got one pot left and the one it came in so i think i need at least one more and then it'll be venus fly traps after this this one is equally root bound look at it need to break that into smaller plants and then they'll be a lot happier I'm fighting use your muscle i don't have any this is oh that's quite brutal looking but better than when i'd use the knife oh there we go Whoa. much better look at that that's it three separate pots because that's all i got for now you join us here in the forest. The forest of houseplant. Hell. Yeah. You've done amazing with all of these mother-in-law's tongs. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a new little forest. We're basically building a screen for the window. <laughs> David, just... yeah, he said, why don't we just put them in a trough, like a planter, and then we can have them in a line. I'm like, that's a good idea, but... Screen out some of the... Well, actually, it's quite private here now. We've got all of the plants outside, but it would have a nice little screen. Be good in the bedroom window. Yeah, it would. It so, smells so good in here. Like, with the wax melt on and the, all of these lovely plant smells. Well, it's, there's a lot of roots and leaves that have been killed. I've not so seen any quite, bugs. No, there's no bugs. We've just got the... Venus flytrap, and then we've got food tasting. Woo! I'm ready for some boozy food. Is there Boozan food? No, Eastery food, because it's Easter. Because oh, we didn't have enough Easter eggs a few weeks ago. <laughs> Quite right. So we're going to tidy up because... Well, look, it's got a lot of dirt. They need a bit of a water. So we do that and then we'll come back probably for Venus. I'm your fire, your desire. It's too young, you don't know the words. Venus, fly trap. Mucky pop. Still a bit confused by this because... There's two types of seeds. That says Venus fly trap seeds. That doesn't say anything. There's two of those little soil discs, which I know you need to leave in water, fluff up, and then you put them in those pots and then you plant the seeds on top. But the instructions don't really match to the kit they're giving you. And there's no mention about why you've got two lots of seeds. I tried to Google it and there's nothing on the internet about there being two types of seeds. So. We know this isn't going to work, right? They should germinate in two weeks. Might take three to five, depending on how cold. How... What does germinate mean? We'll start to sprout. Oh, okay. Depending on how cold it is or how warm it is. Because they have to be kept between a certain temperature, don't 25 they? 25 to 35 degrees, which in here, at the moment it's 20 degrees. Mm. And they need daylight, so they can't go in the bathroom. But we'll see. If it doesn't work, you can do the I told you so dance. Told you so, told you so. <laughs> so first things first is to get those wet and fluff them up. Okay. It, it's fluffing up like a good one. It's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> it's definitely a grower, not not a shower oh look at those yeah they still feel quite compact have they had enough they've been in for five minutes oh yeah they feel quite soily <laughs> soiled i feel soiled right so those need to go in there once the soil has fluffed add the soil to the biodegradable pots it should be actually tear them open like a tea bag can't hurt can it who goes oh he's ripped on the second one 
Oh. Uh, just move it. <laughs> oh. Uh, Bloody hell. There was more soil than I was expecting. Look at all this mess. It's all over the floor again. And it says sprinkle seeds on top. Don't let them bite you. Chomp, chomp. Little shop of horrors. Can't really see. It's all dirt and dark. Uh, that's just your mind. Look, can't even see them. I'm not sure how you're going to get them out. I'm going to sweet talk them. Worked on me. <laughs> it's licking. Worked on you. <laughs> It's not going in. <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll tidy up and get back to you. Anything can happen. Just been listening to a bit more Lamb Page singing a bit Mary Poppins. You had a, you had, you had, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so tired. So <laughs> I lost an hour of sleep. <laughs> I mean, you should just watch this vlog. That'll, that'll sort that right out. Um, Venus flytrap update. You had a little face. Hello. <laughs> it's like Wally. <laughs> Seeds are in, sprayed the top to keep it moist. Well, we think the seeds are in. They might be just yeah. the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> then they could be the vacuum cleaner. We'll find out if that starts sprouting and start eating us. <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> so that's just going to stay there for a few weeks, see if it germinates. And then when we realise it doesn't, we're going to throw that in the bin. And then, <laughs> then, then, we know. And then buy some Venus fly traps. We know it needs a bit of warmth. So we, we need to... Keep it away from my de cold, dead heart. So it's going to go somewhere over there. <laughs> Out of direct sunlight because that will kill the seeds. It just needs to be warm, doesn't it? Yeah. Might put it in front of the telly. So it's food time. It's solids. It's like a mound. Can I whip it? Go on then. Yay! Oh. Happy Easter! Oh. I'm going to do that because I feel like so that. You did probably, that Easter uh, Sunday, isn't it? There you go. They look like real eggs. <laughs> I know. So there you go, solids. <laughs> it's, Won't be for long. <laughs> it's Easter, so more eggs. <laughs> And lactose tablets. I should be the, like the poster boy for these. <laughs> yeah. Whilst David gets a lactose tablet, I'll show you. Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, look at David be able to read. Some other ones there, other ones there, and these ones. They look like proper hens laid them. What have you been doing? <laughs> Who says they haven't <laughs> been laid by a hen? Right, we'll keep the hens one till the end because I feel like that's going to be quite substantial. I'm going to try one. Doesn't smell of anything. Doesn't smell of anything? Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Not one if you've got dentures. I think I know what these are. Are they orange smarty eggs? Mm-hmm. Are they? Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Orange smarty mini eggs. My mum used to buy me the tubes of smarties so much as a kid. I might also spoil it, but yeah. I I'm... used to love smarties as a kid. But look, a lot of red. And for five eggs, it's 86 calories. It's quite a lot, isn't it? They taste lovely. It tastes like a big orange smarty. Mm-hmm. Not to confuse mm. an orange smarty drink, which is orange juice and Tia Maria. And if you want yeah. a bit more boozy, put a bit of vodka in it. But orange juice and Tia Maria taste like an orange smarty. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 All right there, Mavis. Yeah, did you try one? Yeah. No, it's not, mate. Mm. Bit too, the, it's, it's really crispy. So if you've got dodgy teeth, you want to take it slow because there was a bit of a resistance. Seven for me. We're not doing scores yet. Are we not? I've forgotten the format. I thought we did it as we went along. No. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one. So you just look like normal mini eggs. Don't smell of anything. Oh. Oh. No, oh, it's really horrible. <laughs> oh, no. What is it? Oh, it tastes like rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's nasty. Oh my days. Are they going to be comedy eggs? Comedy eggs? Like rotten eggs. No, why well, would that I do was that? awful. It's our old favourite, Doisy and Dam. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I thought, they, I thought if they were like the, you know, like the Harry Potter sweets, which taste <laughs> horrible, like a vomit. I thought they were them. No, these are Doisy and Dam good eggs. They're not. No palm oil. Dark Chocolate egg with a cheeky, crunchy coating. Have you tried one? What? Have you tried one? Yeah, I didn't like it. It's I just hard. tried it then and I went... <laughs> it's horrible. It's 70% dark Colombian chocolate, but 100% crunchy awesomeness. Oh, no. In short, a bunch of really good eggs. Oh, no. They taste like... Vegan. No, they honestly... I'll try another one. They honestly <laughs> taste like the eggs or sweets you get from Harry Potter, what are supposed to taste of horrible things. They don't. I do. That was nasty. It's not good. No. Oh, a third of a pack, which are, at a push, that's all you could probably eat. 
126 calories. <laughs> no, don't like those. No palm oil, very ethical. They were fine until you cracked the egg. <laughs> as soon as you got inside it, it was like all this horribleness. We had the Doisy and Dam Easter egg in the, when we did the vegan Easter egg testing, which is up there, which had the peanut butter, well, the almond butter cups, mm. which tasted okay to start with, and then it was not as good. Nasty. Right, next I can see was Ferrero Rocher. Well excited for this. Come on then. Get yourself a little Ferrero. Thank you. Oh, I need to undo this with one hand. Good luck. I mean, I thought you were going to offer to do it for me, you little... All right, come here. Not to shut you up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, my days. They must be well expensive. It is fine milk chocolate wafer with velvety hazelnut filling. Each one of those eggs is 58 calories. Spit it out. <laughs> no. They're lovely, aren't they? Ten eggs per bag. I don't know how much these were. These have been in the drawer for weeks. Haven't they? Mm. That was chocolate at its best. That was delicious. Yeah, like seriously good. They go from the horribleness of that last one to that was just... You just weren't a fan. You don't like dark chocolate. We've established that. They probably weren't horrible. If you like dark chocolate, those doisy and damn ones are probably a good bet. Vegan, dairy-free. But yeah, if you don't like dark chocolate, get out of here. All right. Ferrero, final one. It's like a proper full on egg. These ones. Now, I think they're quite gooey in the middle. Oh, it feels like a proper egg. It's like a love egg. I think it's going to be very messy. Mm. Tastes like caramac. Mm. Oh my egg. Oh, that's good filling. Well, look at your one. You've got brown, I've got yellow. Don't want to rush this. This is really nice. What do you say? Don't want to rush this. Oh, 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 you just call me a bitch. <laughs> Don't choke. I've still got half of mine left. I don't want to. Don't want it to end. Oh my days! You lost for words, David. <laughs> I've got to a happy place. It's like you oh. want a cigarette now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> uh, just before this, I was like, "Oh, I'm really sleepy." Now I'm like, "Woo!" <laughs> that was incredible. Quite sticky. <laughs> Spit one. <laughs> All right, Nan. <laughs> Wow, I'm a bit lost for words. That was amazing. It is white chocolate egg filled with salted caramel ganache and mm. banana ganache. Banana? Yeah, it's banoffee, banana and toffee. I didn't get a banana. What? I got like a caramel yeah, taste. Yeah, banana, banoffee, but that's why it was, it was brown and yellow inside. Oh, okay. Were they pricey though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet they were. They taste incredible. So for that box of four, <laughs> six pounds. <gasps> they are incredible though. If you're having like a dinner party or something, that would be a really nice thing to have. 275, 275-ish wow. calories per egg. The Bonoffi Center. Must have a whole different level of luxury. What are you putting in your mouth? That's Smarty's egg. I'm doing a Sydney and eating all the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney Baker, Baker family. Go and check them out. Wowzers. We went on a bit of a journey there, didn't we? This is tough. So the yeah, look, look. Smarty's orange egg. Seven. Six. Here we go. Doisy and Dam. Zero. I'll give them two. They're the worst things I've ever tasted. No. Ferrero Rocher. Nine. They're really good. I'm not sure if it's nine or a ten. I need, I need to practice. <laughs> this is Do think, that, mate, how many calories are that? That's why I've not had lunch. Nine. Nine for me. I think 9.5. It was really good. And then Heston's Golden Eggs. They're, they're, we've had two weeks of a... Uh, have a really high scoring round because last week I gave the the boozy chocolate a 10 and and these need to be a 10 as well 10 yeah I think a nine I, but I do feel sick but I think it's probably accumulation do you reckon <laughs> <laughs> I'm sat here and I can feel my shirt bursting <laughs> it's because of all the muscle yeah fat muscle right that's a bit of tasting done if we can have a little nap and watch a bit of telly I think yeah, I'm sure there's some vlogs we need to catch up on as well. And then we got it was Sunday, so it's chicken dinner. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Eee. Fancy seeing you through in the bush. Oh. Look, it's that pencil eee. light from Ikea that's changing through colours. You being a peeping Tom? <laughs> Not in my own house. That's why I've got a big window out back. It's sometime later. I'm looking at my watch, but I took my watch off because I was doing pots, so I don't know what time it is. What time is that? What, what time, time is it? 20 to 7. 20 to 7? God. It's still daylight. Love it. Very windy out there, though. 
It's not the best weather. No, I've been out on the balcony because I needed to get pots to put the pots in that we did earlier. So I'll show you what they look like at the moment. Some of them I put back in the bedroom. Some are just strewn around, but there's a few on the table. I've cooked chicken. We've got chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Potatoes are in at the moment. Um, when the alarm goes off, which is probably through this, um, I need to put the vegetables on. We've got YouTube switched on, haven't we? I've just actually edited the D23. Done the rough edit of D23. I'm going to say rough edit. I've not finished it. I've done the rough edit. And we've also got YouTube on. I can see that there's a video of Shop Disney over there. I was going to say, if you've not seen the D23 membership, there'll be a link up there, and there'll be one downstairs. If you're not interested, don't bother looking. But yes, we're watching uh, YouTube. James Farrow, the lovely James Farrow, we miss James Farrow. Um, if you don't subscribe, what's wrong with you? There's a link up there There's and some downstairs. Great videos. He's Walt Disney World and Tenant Parks, and just live videos are amazing. He's found some extra Typhoon Lagoon footage from his previous trip. So we're going to watch that. Anyway, here are the plants. There are three of them. Three? I can't count. One, two, three, four. Ooh, four mother-in-law tongues that are now in their other pots. They are going to go in the window because it's going to be a nice week this week. Tonight we have Line of Duty because we're bang up today. Well excited for that. What else are we doing tonight? I don't know, I'm cooking a chicken dinner apparently. Sunday night is music night. I might switch on heist a little bit. No Despicable Free vlog. Are you missing them already? We are. I'm missing them. But they're off to um, Alton Towers. Are on they? The, on the 12th. So we're looking twice. That so video. there's two vlogs that week. We'll look apparently. We love them. We've got Cheers Ears to watch though. We've got, we have, yeah, we've got to catch up with the ears as well. What time is it? Oh, I don't know. I've got a watch. Probably <laughs> 7 o'clock. Is it 7 o'clock? It's quarter past 7. Oh, it's quarter past 7. Still daylight outside. Lovely. Chicken dinner time. Oh, yeah. This, you know, creatures of habit, haven't we? Look. Wow. Marks and Spencer's chicken thingy. These potatoes look nice. Vegetables. They're also Marks and Spencer's cheeks potatoes. Are they? Yeah. They look very good. They're Jersey Royals. I mean, it was either that or Yorkshire pudding, but I thought I'd mix it up a bit. We've also gone down a rabbit hole of YouTube LA videos, sightseeing videos. Yeah, we're looking at things we're going to do next time we go. Not that we know what next time we're going to go. No. Currently booked in for June, but they've moved the flights, but we're not going in June. We just need to move them ourselves to a, a different time. Yeah. We just watched a hiking video, that we won't be doing. <laughs> it was a good, nice little hike, though, around the Hollywood Hills, but it we're like, mm, I'm not quite sure that's for us. I watch his videos. <laughs> <laughs> seen it now. <laughs> don't need to, don't need to go out with myself. <laughs> right, I need to see this dinner. Okie doke. Right, we'll have dinner and then we'll see you before we end tonight. <sighs> oh, excuse me. A little bit <laughs> tired. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, Sunday night, I've got you, watery eye. You're, yeah, you're, we're all like quite shady. Yeah, I know, and the lights are on. Oh, you're a shady I can't. Because we don't film this late on a Sunday, because the light's different on a Sunday to a Saturday. Anyway, so we watched all 39 entrants to the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest that have been chosen. So on the Eurovision channel, there was like a little smorgasbord board of uh, highlights from all of them. We're big Eurovision fans. This is my mom's impression. Yeah, so some random ones, and some good ones. Um, need, some to, good ones. need to work out who can sing live because some of them you think, oh, there's no way That's you. That's pretty you, high. Yeah, so we're watching that, and then um, we watched a bit of Heiss and oh, his piano, piano live, and then it was Line of Duty. Line of Duty was good. Yeah, he heated up a bit. The pace was a bit slow last week. Interesting little twisty at the end. Love the fact that Ryan from Series One is now in as a policeman in. Well, Series 6, but it was in Series 5 as well. It's cute. We were watching the last episodes of Series 5, directed by Sue Tully, who was... Who was she? Michelle Fowler from EastEnders. Oh, and she was also in Grain Jill in the early 80s. Yeah, she gave up acting for directing, so she directed the last episodes of Series 5 of Line of Duty, amongst other things, but that was, was quite interesting. I'm like, that's Michelle Fowler directed that. Good, to, good honour. We're back to work tomorrow for the short week, when just before this come out. And so excited. Yeah, because we've got a long weekend. Five days off. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching us doing our green finger stuff. Yeah, we should be out and about soon, so we, we'll keep doing the weekend vlogs. Might not be sat on the sofa so much though. No. Which is exciting. It is exciting, isn't it? We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Alexa, wish Claire and Kieran Whitehouse congratulations 
for their forthcoming baby. Oh, congratulations. Bye. Bye.